What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to go through my bass cave or man cave I've created out here in the garage for all my kayak fishing gear. So it's kind of a dreary, rainy afternoon out there. I've got a tournament coming up. Out here messing with tackle and putting some things together, uh, cleaning up a little bit. And I've had a few comments in the past about my tackle storage system and thought it'd be a good chance to, to go through it and show you how I've got all my gear stored out here in the garage. Um, if you guys have a setup in your garage or somewhere in your house or whatever, I'd love to check it out too. So comment and say, hey, come check out my channel. I've got a video about this too. But anyway, let's go. I'm gonna give you a quick tour. Uh, break down, I'll have things stored out here in my, my bass cave. All right, so we're gonna start right here in the corner of the garage. In the very front corner, I've just got some overflow rods and stuff stuffed in the corner there kind of sloppy uh, it's my salt water stuff a couple of white rods my wife uses uh, some old hog troughs in the back there uh, retired now that everybody's going to the metal boards and then right next to it i've got kind of the modular system you buy at any lowe's or home depot walmart whatever i got these on amazon just wire black wire racks on these racks i've got my sea tug stored my wheels uh, coming down i've got extra line here some accessories for the kayak here multiple tackle uh, trays tackle boxes full of extra jigs hard baits terminal tackle uh, whatever you can think of here extra parts for my old towns right there a few more accessory boxes or uh, parts boxes up top some gopro accessories here for when i'm out on the water store my my plug for my pdl right there on the on the third shelf I keep all the boxes from any reels I have for the year, just in case there's any warranty problems. I like to put them back in the box and ship them back. A couple extra crates on the bottom there. Uh, one I take just when I go to the beach for saltwater stuff so I don't mess up the one I use for bass fishing and then an extra one there. More storage on this shelf here. Keep some of my big swim baits and glide baits, stuff I really don't throw that much there. Um, and up top, I keep a bazooka tube from Flambo in case I do any traveling. Lay some of my paddles up top as well. One of my favorite parts about this system is the uh, closet rod. This whole thing is basically a, a closet system for a small apartment or whatever. I use it out here in the garage. Oh, I can hang all my life jackets, make sure they're drying out good. Hang my boots when it's not wintertime anymore. Rain gear. Everything is hung up, neat, clean, and organized. I got a couple extra motors for the autopilot down there. And inside, inside these tubs, I keep... Uh, any extra gear that I won't need uh, in that season. Um, winter gear, waders, heavier boots, things like that. Just keep, keep them out of the way. Or any extra gear, just keep them out of the way. Store your coolers on this thing. I always keep my fish finder in a big bright orange bag and I hang it here because one time I drove off with my fish finder laying on the front of the kayak uh, when I was moving my stuff and lost it. So if I always remember to put it in this orange bag, I'll never do that again. Um, some of my cold weather gear and hot weather gear in here. I keep buffs and then some gloves and things here. And then this neat little part of my garage, got a little nook, I'm not even sure why it's there, that's cut into the sidewall of the garage. And I've made some uh, rod holders out of PVC where I can just store my rods neat and out of the way. <laughs> Lay some paddles in there too or whatever. Uh, you notice most of those are empty it's because my rods are laying over here got a tournament coming up i got them all staged up and rigged up and ready for a tournament so they're not stored back where they normally would be all right then i've got my nice pegboard set up on the wall and for years i just had all my soft plastics jammed in tubs all over the place but i found this pegboard system to be much much better and, and keep you much more organized um, when you're getting ready for trips i'll walk through how i use that on a trip to trip basis so all the soft plastics i have basically are up on this pegboard then i have a couple tubs this one i'll keep in the boat with me this one i'll travel if i'm going for multiple days and i'll switch out from the pegboard to the tub what i'm going to need for that trip on that body of water that day and like i said if i'm going for multiple days or if i'm afraid i'm not real sure what the conditions are going to look like i'll pack some extra in here and leave in the car where i can make that switch in the vehicle as well also on the pegboard obviously you can store line Extra hard baits you haven't taken out of the package yet. I've got my measuring boards hung up there. Uh, hard baits that I cut off real quick and didn't want to put them back in my in my boxes yet, in my tackle trays, or whatever. Uh, the pegboard's awesome, multi-purpose, 
and uh, really gets you organized in the garage. Then I've got two folding tables set up in an L shape in the corner. It makes an awesome workspace. You can see right here, I've got a bunch of stuff that just came in the mail staged up to, to put it where I need it to go. Uh, then over here, I've got bait parts, uh, markers, scissors, extra line, lotion, sorry, suntan lotion, attractant, whatever. I've just got it stacked up over here on my workstation. I always keep my reading glasses, of course, because I'm old and can't see, and a notebook to make notes about what I might need to get uh, or what I'm bringing with me, whatever. Uh, just on the wall here in the man cave. Just got a few decorations, of course. Got to have that Razorback flag. A couple maps of Beaver Lake with some stickers from places I've been and companies I've worked with or, or companies I'm just a fan of. And of course, the OG Natural State Kayak Anglers logo frame, courtesy of Natural State Custom Furniture. Check them out. Also keep a little door hanger on the back of this door. That's where the water here is back there. Where I can hang chargers and different things. Uh, memorabilia on there. And I don't think a, a man cave or bass cave would be complete without a TV of some sort. So I just got a little TV there where I can watch YouTube videos or live fishing, whatever might be going on uh, while I'm out here working. And I've also got the big speaker down there to bump some uh, music while I'm out here as well. Down below the table, I keep a power strip. And that's kind of my charging station. I, I use a FPV power 110 amp, 110 amp hour lithium battery for my autopilot and an amped 12 amp hour battery for my uh, electronics in the boat, my fish finder. I just charge both those down there for me to need them. Those are both on the charger right now. And series, there's another motor for my autopilot. Keep this big cobot cobalt toolbox. I used to take this on the road with me. I used it as kind of a traveling tackle box, but I'm able to condense that down, but I still use it to hold extra tackle. Uh, there's some extra terminal stuff in there, some extra tools, a variety of things. Just makes a nice extra storage. We got some cushion flooring just right here around the table. And of course, a ripped up old office chair. You, couldn't, you can't have a workspace without a nice chair. And then on the opposite side of the garage, Got the boats uh, set up on the Malone tra trailer and always ready to go. So there you go, y'all. Quick tour of the, the tackle cave, the, the bass cave that I've got set up. Uh, like I said, let me know about yours. If you've got a cool setup, let me know in the comments and I'll go check it out. As always, thank y'all for watching.